right, sitting here with middleweight prospect Nelson Mbele. Nice to see you again. Um, Happy New Year firstly to you. How's everything been? Uh, Happy New Year to you too, Hayden. Uh, Everything's been good. Had a good rest in December. Back to work in 2022. And uh, a big one for you, ESPN Africa, and uh, you managed to get on a tournament here. Sort of a, a redemption fight for you coming back. You really got to impress. How do you feel about being on the platform first and foremost? Yeah, I'm very grateful to be on the platform for ESPN. You know, it's a big platform. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity. I want to thank the matchmaker, Ibim Nisi, for obviously um, matching me for this ESPN. You watched the first show, I'm assuming. Uh, what did you think about uh, that? Very impressed. Very impressed. ESPN is a good, 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 good um, promotion, and they're going to do big things. And uh, for yourself personally, do you, have you set some goals for this year? I know that you, you, you fought Darren Rousseau uh, towards the end of last year, and uh, it didn't go your way. Have you set any goals for this year? Yeah, my goals for this year are pretty simple. More active, and obviously get more wins. And... This time around, we're trying so hard not to get any loss, so we're going to definitely work hard because I am an upcoming prospect, so that needs to show to everybody. So, yeah, that's the plan. You spoke to me off camera about activity. You know, you said you haven't been as active as you, you'd like to be um, with, with, with potentially ESPN doing a show every month and impressing on, on there. Do you see yourself uh, fighting more often? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously it will be up to ESPN, but... I would love the opportunity to be more active, you know. I'm sure every boxer wants to be more active out there because you don't want to have two fights, uh, yeah, three fights, you know. The more fights we have, the more experience we get, the more better we become. Right, so looking towards your opponent, Sydney, he's 0-3. Uh, he wants to get his first win, and uh, I'm guessing you don't want to be his first uh, win. Yeah, for sure. The guy I'm fighting has got three losses, and I only found that out today. I didn't actually know. So, yeah, he's got three losses, but obviously you never overlook any opponent, you know. Just because he has three losses doesn't mean that he's a bum, you know. He he definitely wants a win. He's hungry for a win. He's tired of losing. So he's going to come up with a fight. So I have to definitely make sure my goal is pretty simple. My goal is to make sure that he doesn't achieve his goal. Mm -hmm. And I just do my job, which is to win that fight. And uh, you mentioned that you don't really get nervous before fights. So what sort of uh, mentality would you be bringing into this one, considering that he is the 0-3 boxer? More aggressiveness. You know, I'm planning to be more aggressive in that ring, show up more, be seen more by the judges and the fans, you know, just show up there and be the fighter that's seen more than him and boxing much better than he does. And uh, from yourself personally, you mentioned being more aggressive this year. Is that uh, something you've been working on already or is it just a mentality? It's something we've been working on in the gym, you know. You have to be more aggressive. You have to, the judges have to see you. The fans have to see you. So you, need to, you really need to fight there, you know, show that you want to win. So that's definitely something that we've been working on in the gym as well. And it's also my mentality now. You, you're a very confident boxer. The fact that you have had a first career loss, has that affected your confidence in any way, shape or form? I just take it as a learning curve, you know. It's any, any loss, is, it, it does affect uh, the boxers, but it's up to you. A loss does two things to you. It either breaks you or makes you. And for me, I do feel like it's going to make me and it's made me a better fighter, a better thinker. So, yeah, I take it as a learning curve and I'll definitely be, be better this time around. Your trainer, Mimo, has he changed his approach with regards to you or is it the same um, despite the last results? No, he's definitely changed, you know. Obviously, after taking a loss, my first loss, things have changed a bit, you know. He's, he's, he's more on my case about everything, my weight, the way I fight, the time, even the time, you know. If I'm one minute late in gym, my trainer's on my case, you know. He's there, so he's, he's, he's physically there, he's emotionally there, like he's always been, but, you know, there's more effort now because he doesn't want to see something like that happen again. We see in boxing a lot of people changing gyms after bad results and things like that. You stuck with your trainer and believe in him. How come? Loyalty is key. You know, I do believe in loyalty. I grew up in this gym. I used to come with my school uniform in this gym. I used to do my homework in this gym. You know, I'm this boxer that I am because of this gym. You know, I've had people, I've had other gyms. I'm not going to mention names. They want me in their gyms, but I've just remained loyal to my trainer, which is Mimo Spirito. Gave me a good home, welcomed me with open arms. So I'm very, very loyal to him, and he knows that, you know. I've been with him for five years now, and I'm only 21. Well, tomorrow I'm 22 because it's my birthday. So this, this year will be six years with him. So I've built built a good relationship with Mimo Sperito and I'm looking forward to many more great things with him. 
Right. Well, by the time this interview comes out, you will be 22 years of age. So, and the time you walk into the ring as well, you will be. Between the two of you, what have you assessed this fight to be? Like, how have you, how have you plotted this fight? What results are you looking for? Between me and who, my trainer? Yes. Um, like as I said, we didn't know the guy's record is three is three losses. You know, they gave me an opponent, and I said, fine, I'll fight him. You know, because I don't cherry pick any fighters. So that's why I'm saying I only found out today that's his um record. So. The plan is straightforward and simple, like I did say just now. Me and my coach, we know what we did wrong in the first fight, in the in the third fight that I lost in, and we're gonna work on those mistakes. And we've been working on those mistakes, so just polishing where we made the mistakes, and then yeah, hopefully everything comes right. Well, I hope it doesn't take your your foot off the pedal in any way, shape, or form as well. No, definitely not. Definitely not. A loss is only doesn't mean it's the end of the world you know I'll definitely come back like I did say I'm a I'm a middleweight prospect Hayden I'm 21 years of age well turning 22 now I'm still young I'm upcoming you know I've got a lot to learn in the sport I'm definitely a prospect I'm coming up there so my name is also well enough to be mentioned with the prospects that are also there in middleweight because the middleweight division is also becoming a hot division now mm -hmm. so yeah it's really I'm one of those prospects and I'm looking forward to bigger and greater things. This year, I just want to be more active, get my name to the top. You know, every year we have to advance. You can't be, be less than you were last year. You have to pick up every year. So my, my foot is on the pedal big time. I'm not mentioning names. Do you consider yourself one of the best middleweight prospects in South Africa? Definitely, definitely. I, I do believe that I am one of the best. Just because I took a loss doesn't mean anything. You know, we have great fighters like Manny Pacquiao, Mike Tyson. They've all taken losses, but they were the best at the end of the day. So a loss does two things to you. It either makes you or it breaks you. And that loss has made me a better fighter, a better thinker, and I'm definitely going to show them flames in the middleweight division. Well, I mean, as I said before, you know, you're anticipating a win. Just in what fashion? I'm going to outbox him, I'm going to outsmart him, I'm going to outclass him. That's all I'm going to do. A knockout is a bonus for me. You know, I never ever fight for a knockout because you lose your, 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 your game plan. But if the knockout is there, if I see the opportunity, I'm taking his head off. I'm not playing games this year. This year I'm serious. I'm, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna prove to South Africa, I want to prove to myself, most importantly, that I am somebody to be looked at in South African boxing, you know. No disrespect to any other boxers out there, you know. We all believe in ourselves and I do believe in myself. If I don't believe in myself, what am I doing here? What am I doing in boxing? So I completely do believe in myself and all I can say is I'm not much of a talker. I really, really love to prove with my actions. So this year, everyone is gonna see. Because it's easy to talk. It's easy to say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do this, I'm going to knock him out. But then when the fight comes, you know, it's a different story. So rather keep quiet and show them with your fists. Boxing, you mustn't talk too much. You must show them with this what you want to do. I know I have you in front of the camera right now. I know you said you're not a big talker, but if Sydney is watching, what message do you have for him? He must be ready, you know. He must definitely be ready. I'm ready for him. I don't know much about him, but I'm definitely ready for him. I'm going to come up there with fireworks. I'm going to come up there. And I'm going to do what I know and what I do best. And I'm going to represent my team very well because this team deserves rec the recognition, you know. And like I said before, I mean, this is my home. I've been in this team for many, many years. And I'm still going to be in this team for many, many years. And they're going to know Team Sweatbox. They're going to know Nelson and Pele. All right. And uh, thanks for that message. And uh, any last uh, thank you, shout outs for anybody? Uh, firstly, I want to thank you, Hayden. You know, I really appreciate you for your work and congratulations for being on ESPN. You know, it's a big, big platform and you deserve it. You know, I couldn't think of anybody better to do the job than you. So you definitely deserve it. So I want to thank you for the opportunity. I want to thank my trainer, Mimo Spirito, for all the support he's given me, for the love. He's been like a father to me. You know, he's, he's always there for me. I want to thank my teammates, my stable mates. They all know them, Johnny, Shannon. Dwayne, Jaden, um, we call him Rocky in the gym, <laughs> Julian, all of them, you know, I'm truly, truly, truly grateful for them. And I want to thank my family, my friends, all the people close to me, you know, my grandfather, all of them, my father, my mother, 
I don't want to mention many names. The people that have been close to me and have supported me, they all know themselves, you know, especially my friends. They've, you know, I want to say one thing before I, 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 I end this interview. Sorry. On my first loss, you can ask my trainer. When, he, when, I was, when, I, when I got to his place, he asked me, now what you want to do? I told him I'm going to the gym. The same day I lost, I came back to this very gym. My family came with me, my friends, all the people I had over, they came. They sat right there and they were clapping hands for me while I was punching that bag right there and I was crying. And I had my cousin hold up um, pads and I was asking him, what did I do wrong? He told me, then I told him, okay, fine. I'm gonna work on what I did wrong now. You know, I was very emotional on that day. You know, anyone who gets a loss is gonna be emotional, but I love the fact that I took it like a man I came back to the gym on the same day and I said I'm gonna work on my mistakes. So that kind of tells you what type of a person I am, what type of a man I am. You know, I don't give up easily. So there's definitely a lot to show this year and many more years to come. Like I've said, I'm still young. I've still got a lot to learn and I'm definitely a middleweight prospect and they must definitely, definitely, definitely watch out. Well, I love the hearts. I love the message. Thank you very much again, Nelson, for having a chat with us and uh, all the best uh, on your ESPN debut. Thank you very much, Mr. Hayden.